by the children of the Queen Nefertiti. And it hurts. And that is why I am glad to announce that. That I am not happy. Come with me. Let us travel through time on my donkey from Luxor, Egypt to Timbuktu. And then we shall travel to modern day Nairobi to see how they are living in Nairobi. Come, let's show it. Up with the gods of Africa. Up with Ayatollah. I look down at our markets with longing and sorrow. Peeping back to a glorious past that is now gone and diminished. The glorious past when the trader and buyer spoke one language. The language of Africa continental free trade area. After I have seen the Yoruba exchange their thick thigh yams for the Bukusu chicken, when the Shakazulu warriors gave out their spears for the tasty Swahili pilau, when the Fulani herdsmen stocked our markets with their long horned cattle, exchanging them for the well baked Hutu pots, I, Odiambo, the last priest of Nefertiti. I have seen a people united not by the color of their skin nor the language of their tongues. I have seen a people united not by the make of their dresses nor the sound of their feet. Without the walls of the quarter and shilling. Without the fences of rupee and naira. Without the boundaries of pound and dollar. I have seen one vast open market for Africa. Filled with the Tuaregs of the North, masked from external influence of foreign traders, yet united by our common Afro currency. I, Odiambo, the last priest of Nefertiti, I have sought this unifying mask sent to me by the Queen Mother Nefertiti. From the golden dawns to the green dusks, I have traveled. From the serene past to the turbulent present, I have traveled. From ancient Luxor in Egypt to Timbuktu, I, Odiambo, the last priest, has traveled. I have arrived. I have arrived with a message from Oshun, the goddess of financial fortune. I have arrived with the last caravan of Kiwa, the medicine to the market malady. I have come to unveil this mask of Africa. So, 
Listen. In the dark, crowded alleys of Nairobi, I have walked through the small, neglected back streets of our conscience. I have crawled among the swindling traders selling stale stocks because they are sick with the profit. I have squeezed my way back to the dungeons where our trade gods were abandoned. I have sought the one and only true unifying mask of Africa. Listen, this mask is the cure. It's our only oasis of hope. We must take care of it. We must make strong this mask with a sprinkle of the strength of the Shaka Zulu warriors from the south. The courage of Mau Mau to stand in the bush against the winds of colonialism. This mask must be strewn by the charms of the undefeated spirit of Menelik. We must shield it with the jingles of the stones from the Karnak, this great Karnak of mine. <laughs> ah. Then against all the dust brought by the fake Covidiosis masks, we must cover our mask with the great Kenta cloth from Ghana. Then using the gold of Kinshasa, we shall make spear nibs to attack any marauding poacher wanting to steal our masks and sell somewhere that's not Africa. Finally, to make this mask work, we need a charm hidden in the labyrinths of the present day Nairobi. Come, let's go to Nairobi. Then I landed, crawling beneath the canopy of concrete, tracing the market of Nairobi. But, upon arriving in Nairobi, shock shook shivers in my eyes. My Africa, my Nairobi is flooded by cheap sterile masks from the Far East lands. My Africa, my Nairobi, is flooded by masks from the Middle Kingdom of Silk. My Africa, my Nairobi, is flooded by spiced up masks from the Kingdom of Spices and Curry. And all these inferior masks Cover obscure. These masks want to work for Africa because they talk Nefertiti. <laughs> you great traders of Nairobi, dawn is nigh in Africa, and this Africa must majestically rise, golden like the splendid sun, draining the swamps of borrowed masks wrapped up as goodies, where the field of other markets were dumped. You great traders of Nairobi, you great traders of Africa, listen! Listen! Shine these inferior masks that cover and obscure. Africa, Hold, hold the true mask that unveils and protects. This is the only mask with bountiful charms. The one true mask of after. Then, then and only then, shall the plague of Covidiosis recede. The plague of Covidiosis will recede when we put on our true mask. Africa, toss out these soulless masks. Eh? And now we celebrate in pomp and color. Oh, oh, oh.